Hey guys, I've got this all new Zenfone Max Pro. It's the latest budget smartphone from Asus. 4GB wealthy phone. We love photo. This is the retail box which I've got. A look at quick specifications 5000mAh battery, 636 Snapdragon processor, and 6 inches full view display. This variant is in deep sea black color. Let's unbox the Zenfone Max Pro. Opening the box, we've got this first, the wheel of photo. Before opening this box, I'll put it aside and check other stuff in the box. It's the phone itself. The dimensions of the phone looks pretty neat. I'll put it aside too. Let's check what else do we got in the box. First, this is the USB 2.0 cable, the charging adapter with the ASUS branding. Next is, it's something different. This is Maxbox. Maxbox is something new from ASUS. A user can use it for louder sound experience. So you can put your phone here and the sound would be louder. It looks pretty neat. Here are the instructions how to open this. You can also use this box as your phone stand. The material used to build this max box seems some cardboard. You can hear the sound and it comes free of cost with the phone. So it's a plus one for those who are buying this phone. I kinda like this. Let's move to the phone. The screen on Zenfone Max Pro is 2.5D curved display. At the top of the phone you get this front facing 8 megapixel camera and the ES speaker and front soft light flash. At the bottom of the phone you'll find this 3.5 mm jack for earphones, and the USB 2.0 port for charging and data transfer and the speaker. It's the main speaker. It's the 5 magnet NXP speaker, a slip with the serial number and IMI numbers which you can get rid of. At the back of the device you get this ASUS branding. The body of this phone is built of metal. Here is the fingerprint scanner, the dual camera setup. The primary camera sensor is 13 megapixel and the second one is 5 megapixel accompanied by this single tone LED flash. The design of Zenfone Max Pro seems pretty good. You can see unlike the glass backs there are no smudges and easy to remove fingerprints so no issues with that on the right side of the device the hardware keys are there the power button the volume rockers and on the left side of the device this is the hybrid sim card slot max pro is also loaded with dual mics one is at the top of the device and other one is at the bottom for better sound recording experience and calling experience let's boot the device powered by Android, the ASUS logo. Whoa, I like this. The new boot animation from ASUS. I wish I had this on my Zenfone 3. I saw this on Zenfone 4 Selfie 2. So the phone is booted now. Before going further, I would open this box first to see what's inside it. Okay, it's this SIM ejector tool. Yeah, you'll need it too. And what else do we got here? It's the paper stuff from ASUS, some tags, warranty card and a manual guide. So let's keep this stuff aside and I'll show you one of the best thing of Zenfone Max Pro. It's this triple hybrid slot. I like this hybrid sim card slot and you know why it's special? Because it's not available with most of other smartphones. You can use it two micro sim cards here and one dedicated micro SD card here. Let's come back to the device. Oh, check this out. It's a pretty big display. Now this is the first smartphone from Asus which is running on stock Android. And there is one thing that almost all the users are confused about whether this phone belongs to Android 1 family or not. And the answer is no. The Android OS for this smartphone is built on AOSP that is Android Open Source Project. So it is a custom build from Asus but still it's good. It's running on Android 8.1 Oreo. Let's check the camera. 
This is a Snapdragon camera app which is redesigned for Zenfone Max Pro. You can find different options here. You can browse through different scenes from here. Yeah, this is automatic HDR portrait mode and too much more. You can apply filters. From here you can activate the portrait mode which utilizes the dual camera setup. But I'll share the pictures which I captured with this phone later. Zenfone Max Pro is available in two variants as of now that is 334 and 664 GB and this one is 334 GB variant which I've got. I've installed a lots of applications and games to test it out. It has 5000 mAh battery which is which I think is pretty enough for long gaming or listening to music or if you want to browse videos on YouTube as Max Pro is running on Android 8.1 so it has all the goodies like autofill, the PIP mode and other stuff. I'll post my review article soon about this device so you can check about the camera performance, build quality and benchmarking and gaming stuff etc. Before ending this video, there is one little question that every user is asking that what specific sensors this device has. So let me recall all the sensors it has. It has accelerometer, sensor, e-compass, proximity, ambient light sensor, fingerprint sensor and especially gyroscope sensor. Yes, many users were confused about this. Yes, this device does have the gyroscope sensor. After the last update, which was delivered on 3rd May, this device has also got the face unlock so you can use the fingerprint system to unlock your device or face unlock so that's all for now so this was the quick unboxing of Zenfone Max Pro I'll post my review articles soon don't forget to check those articles out see you guys again